Well, the end of daylight saving time is approaching quickly, of course. There is. We always like falling back. But this morning, one Oklahoma lawmaker hoping to make daylight saving time a permanent time year round. No more changing the clocks in Oklahoma. News Force Jacqueline Chapel shares the information with us. She joins us live this morning. Ali Kent, it's exactly what you said. We do have a senator here that is presenting an interim study today at the Capitol discussing the benefits of bringing daylight savings time to be permanent. Now, I do have Senator Blake Stevens here with me today. Now, Blake, tell me a little bit about why this is so important, why you think it's something that's necessary. Well, this is going to be good for all of Oklahoma, uh, no matter where you live or what you do. Uh, no matter your age, uh, this is locking in daylight savings time. By the way, for your viewers, that's what time we're on right now. And so I'm going to lock that clock where we don't change them again. There's a huge problem with strokes. They, they, there's a spike in strokes, heart attacks, as well as car fatalities during this time, whether you're going backwards or forwards with the clock. I'm just trying to lock them in, do what's best for Oklahoma. This is going to this may be wonderful. And tell us about that interim study. You're going to have it today at 9 o'clock in the Capitol, and you're going to have some presenters there also as well discussing all the health benefits and everything else that it also it could help the economy, you said too, right? Absolutely. So uh, today at 9 o'clock this morning, uh, we're going to be running an interim study. I've got seven presenters coming and uh, from all walks of life in agriculture, um, Department of Health, Department of Mental Health, by the way, um, as well as a meteorologist that's been um, working for the National Weather Service for 42 years. And um, so um, we also have uh, the Department of Commerce coming, talking about our economy and uh, how this really will help uh, that flourish as well. And any, anybody been pushing back on this at all? Or There's always the those that are going to be pushing back. And um, so um, I, I believe that uh, the, the main pushback is going to be right now with, with uh, possibly education and, um, and, and the fact that we're standing out here in the dark right now. <laughs> and uh, I call it mothers afraid of darkness. So that's going to be one of the issues that one of the hurdles we're going to have to get across. But it's going to be good because I can promise you there are so many talking points about how it's going to be okay. All right. Well, thank you so much, Senator Stevens. And we'll have much more on this coming up today at 7 o'clock on Rise and Shine. Back to you guys.